We're going to leave this, this house, this building change, to change our families, change our community, our homes, change our workplaces today. So, Father, as I stand before your people, you strengthen me. Be my bulwark, my strength before and behind. Strengthen my mind, my spirit, man. Father, I thank you that the angels now are having a Jacob connection. They are ascending and descending, and they are bringing me fresh manner to give to God's people. And the Holy Spirit is on the inside of me, churning and stirring up the stuff that we meditated on all week to give to your people concerning this supernatural kingdom. Kingdom. Now, Father, I thank you that your people are alert. Somebody say, I'm alert. Lord God, I thank you that we are not forgetful hearers. We're going to hear the word, and we're going to do the word. Somebody say, we're going to hear the word, and we're going to do the word. In the name of Jesus. And so, Father, in blessing, bless the word, and bless those who are assembled here. Bless those who are listening to us via streaming internet. Let the anointing of God rest upon them and touch their lives, we pray. And everybody shout, Amen. Wonderful. And so we welcome all of you that's watching us right now uh, through the streaming internet and all those who would come by and listen to this word. So today we're going to talk about the supernatural kingdom. Touch somebody and say, this kingdom is a supernatural kingdom. Uh, the kingdom of God is a supernatural kingdom. It is not this uh, physical kingdom that we have on the earth. It's not Elizabeth's kingdom, but this is uh, God's kingdom. Ah, oh, somebody say hallelujah. This is God's rule, and this is God's reign on the earth and in our lives. And so to begin, we're going to look at a scriptural definition for and what is the kingdom of God? And the Bible definition, we find it in Romans 14 and verse 17. If you can see, read with me what it says. It says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. And that's Romans 14 and verse 7. Can we do it one more time? 17. One more time. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, no, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. I put in there that the kingdom of God is not a diet. Yes, we must eat well, you understand me. Uh, but there are still people who, they consistently preach about eating. All right? But we want to talk about, yes, we got to eat right. But we want to, to demonstrate the kingdom of God. Touch somebody and say, we got to eat right. I'm not, I'm not dumbing down eating right, because I want you to live long, you understand me. But the key is, we're going to eat right, but we want to demonstrate the kingdom of God. Come on, somebody show us, touch somebody and say, we've got to demonstrate the kingdom of God. And so he says that the kingdom of God is not in meat and in drink, and the enemy can get you religious just to stand around the fire, and we talk about meat and drink. You understand me. Somebody say, uh-huh. But it says that the, it is not in those things. It is in what? Righteousness. Somebody say righteousness. righteousness. Because the word of God tells us that God has declared you righteous because you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Touch somebody and say, I am. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I touch somebody and say, God has declared you righteous. Oh, yes, so in the kingdom of God, how, how, how someone would know that you're in the kingdom of God? Because you're stamped and dabbed with righteousness. Turn to your neighbor and tell him you are stamped, stamped and dabbed with the spirit of righteousness. Because God has declared you righteous. And so what happened is that in the kingdom, we know folks in the kingdom, we know that you are brother and sister in the kingdom because of your righteousness lifestyle. Somebody say, aha. Uh -huh. We know that you're in the kingdom. Somebody shot because of peace. So in this kingdom, we have righteousness. So folks who are walking and living in right relationship with God. Folks who got the right character and the right characteristics of God. Somebody say, aha. Uh -huh. Not somebody and say, aha. Uh -huh. I know that you got the right characteristics of God. Somebody say, aha. Uh -huh. I touch somebody and say, I know that you have the right DNA of God. That is the divine nature of God is in you. Turn to somebody and say, you got the divine nature of God living on the inside of you. 
And then it says that the kingdom of God is righteousness and peace. Why peace? Because in a time of frustration, a time of calamity, in a time when we can just have a little glimpse of peace, somebody show peace in the world, among nations. And when we think that everything's together in the world, then we hear that somebody is making a chemical weapon or somebody is making a, a, a nuclear bomb or something. They can't even feed their nation, but they want to make bombs because they want to compete with the other, other developing nations. Somebody said, mm-hmm. And so in 